In this video, we're going to go over how to find the binding pocket in receptors that we have on MOE and also some other features. So first, let's open up one of the receptors that we have. So let's open a vitamin D receptor that we have prepared. So right now, the first thing I'm going to do is this structure looks a little bit messy. So to clean it up a little bit, I'm going to hide some of these hydrogens that it's showing. So I'm going to go to render, hide, hydrogens. And you can see that cleans it up a little bit. So the vitamin D receptor here that I have downloaded is a pretty small receptor and it'd probably be pretty easy to find the binding pocket in this in terms of the crystallized ligand that's in here. However, if we had other receptors such as the GABA-A receptor that's a very, very large receptor with lots of different subunits, it can be pretty difficult to find the binding pocket. The easiest way to find the binding pocket though is if we go to render, site view, it immediately puts us right where the binding pocket is. So you see, if I scroll back out and go to somewhere else in the receptor, and again go to render site view, it immediately zooms in on the binding pocket. And I know this is the binding pocket because I, guess I can see the crystallized ligand in, in the receptor here. So here's the crystallized ligand. It's this structure here. Now if I also don't know what the ligand is here, what I can do is go to select ligand, and then you can see it selected the ligand that's in this receptor. So now I know that that's the ligand bound into the binding pocket. So how do I know what this ligand is? Well, if I go to compute and dock, here is the structure of the ligand that is bound in this receptor. So it is this particular ligand that is bound in this receptor because this is the ligand that this receptor was crystallized with. If I would have downloaded a vitamin D receptor that had uh, vitamin D3 docked in it, it would have been vitamin D3 that that particular receptor was crystallized with. Some of the other things I can see here is I can see the hydrogen bond interactions that are happening with this ligand and the receptor. For instance, there's a hydrogen bond interaction there, and there's also another hydrogen bond interaction happening right here. So you can see that this ligand blends in pretty well with the receptor. So let's say I want to change the color of the ligand. To do that, I would need to first select the ligand. I can either do that by going to select ligand, or another way to do this is if I just click anywhere on the ligand, I can then go to select, extend, molecule, and then it will extend what I selected to that entire molecule. I can then go to render, atoms, and then choose whatever color. So I set it to green, it changes the ligand to a green color, which makes it of course stand out a lot better and I can see it.